Alrighty, I'm in front of a lot of blue light right now. And I just thought, instead of relaxing on a Friday night like a normal human being, why don't I change out a radio and fixture? So that is what I chose to do. So this one right here is coming down. And this one right here is the brand new one. And I thought this might be interesting to you. Now, uh, because I'm doing this, I really am not gonna be able to look at the screen and answer questions, but you get to just tag along and see if I drop everything in the tank. I put a piece of acrylic on top here. It's sort of like my little table. So if I drop something in theory, I mean, like, I can set the light down, but if I were to drop something like a screw, it's doo -doo, gonna be eaten by an anemone. So first thing I'm gonna do is unplug it. All right, power has been removed from that light. Another thing I did in advance was I loosened the screws on top with a Allen wrench that I have now lost track of. Here it is. So what I'm hoping to do is basically loosen these screws and use the cable for the new light, just like the old one. Boy, those just came out so easy. I had, like I said, I loosened it, but I didn't realize how short they are. All right, might be better just do this by hand. Okay, I think I better take this screw out before I drop it. This is gonna be a lot of fun, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's kind of good. The screws don't just fall out. All right. All right, that's one side. And now we'll take out the other side. And my goal is to not drop the screw in the water at all possible. It's kind of binding on the cable a little bit. It's kind of weird. Alright, that one's out. It's just catching on the threads of the screw. Be very tight tolerances. All right, now one last screw. And yeah, it's funny, I'm doing this during the time when I should be feeding the tanks. So the fish in this tank are confused. The fish in the other tank are wondering what I'm doing and why I'm taking so long to deliver their meal. All right, one dirty light coming down. all the screws fit the exact same way. Let's double check. Matter of fact, the new screws are black. These are silver. But I'm just going to use the same screws I've always used. Okay. Let me put this light on for a second. So that was a Gen 2 that I took down. And I'm installing a Gen 4 Pro. And you're asking yourself, why is he using such an incredible light over this tank? Well, because I bought it a long time ago and I never installed it until now. I actually purchased a Gen 3 XR15, which is the... Uh, it has like a single LED on the bottom instead of the double. But, uh, <laughs> when I was going to install that one a while back, I had it sitting on the counter, I plugged it in to make sure it worked, and then when I reached down to pick it up, I actually stuck my finger in the hole where the fan blades were and broke a fan blade off instantly on a brand new light. So I told Ecotech what I did, you know, I said it's my fault. <laughs> they sent me a new fan to install, and at the time I was kind of like, okay, I'll do that later. And then tonight I was like, okay, well, why don't I install one of these two lights finally, either the three or this four? And so I grabbed that fan to install into the light that had never been used and discovered that it needs a very specific screw or a screwdriver that I don't own. So that was not possible. So I said, fine, I'll put the four on here. <laughs> Give my enemies the best light ever. The Gen 4 probably came out 
over a year ago. Like I said, I don't do anything quickly. And I've already loaded EcoSmart Live, which is the software I use. I communicate to all my Ecotech gear through EcoSmart Live's uh, Wi-Fi router. And EcoSmart Live is Wi Fi is a uh, cloud based. So just gonna snug this up a little bit, nothing crazy. It uses a completely different power supply. Actually, I like this to look nice and straight when I'm done, so I'm gonna fix that. Because I have all this stuff kind of like wonky a little bit here. Only because it's live. I don't want to over tighten. I don't want to underdo it either. Okay, and then this one looks a little straighter. Okay, that looks good. It still looks a little dusty. I should probably clean all this. Alright, that's technically done. So I need to run the cable to the new ballast. Okay, I'm back to blue. Okay, I'm not as blue. Uh, the old ballast was this big metal thing. This one here looks more like a computer brick. So let's see what you can see here. If I move you down. That is the ballast I was using for that Radeon. That's what they came out with. Battery backup talks to the Vortec drivers. There's a battery backup right here. That's for this Vortec. That one over there runs a second Vortec MP40 as well as a L1, which is that pump down there, that white one right there. So all my pumps have better backup. All right, so for now, all I've done, well, I need to fish a wire through here. Actually, now I'll just drag it over. I just want to kind of get it running. So, it just has a single connection. They recommend keep this in a dry spot. So this will get mounted at some point in the near future. Let me figure out which cord goes where. Oh, wow, I have no clue. Okay. A lot of junk down here. We're gonna plug, we'll just set this guy up here for now, because that looks safe. And plug this in right down here. And we have light. So that is the default light. Looks like it could grow plants, huh? Because <laughs> that's a very white, almost pink coloration. So now I need to go over to EcoSmart Live and I need to go program it, have it detect everything. Guess you can come with me. Make sure I'm not dragging any wires. So let's see what I can do here. Give me a second here to adjust this. Show you all my private stuff. Let's see. That looks like a white screen. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit. Let's go full screen here, first of all. And then what I want to do, get you a little bit closer. Maybe that way it won't look so washed out and white. Maybe. So basically, they have a wizard. Uh, somebody let me know. Are those words backwards? <laughs> Cancel devices, add device wirelessly. Let's see if we can find the new Radeon. Wow, that tank is really pink over there. I should open up a YouTube so I can see what you guys look like. Live now! And we'll drag it over here to this window. 
and let me turn off the sound so we don't get a horrible echo. All right, so unnamed light, perfect. We're gonna drag it over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I'm gonna turn this for you guys so you can see what's happening. So can you guys see the reef? Yes. And when I click that unnamed light, it shows me which light it is by flashing it on and off. That's kind of cool. All right. So I want to drag it here. I wonder if I can just click add here. Nice, there it is. And now's my chance to rename it. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, it's just ready, ready. So we'll call it Gen 4 Radeon Pro. I mean, it says the words right under it, but I'm just gonna call it that. Okay, it's renamed. What else do I have to do? Is that it? <laughs> Does it need a firmware update, anything? Let's see. I don't see anything important. All right. I think it's done. So, I hit done. That was pretty painless. Now we are still on the 60 gallon. We're on the Radeon. We need to give it a schedule of some kind. This kind of looks like the style I usually have. I just thought it wouldn't work. I thought that it would um, maybe vanish because I switched lights out. Twelve twenty-four in the afternoon goes to almost 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I kind of like that. So is there anything I'm missing here? Turn on the lunar phases. I don't use traveling sunrise to sunset on this tank because there's only one light fixture. Still saving. Well, this is boring. <laughs> now with EcoSmart Live, I can use my iPhone to communicate with the tank or I can use the software here on my computer. AB plus. This is my chance, huh? But all I'm growing is anemones mainly, so I don't know that that matters. This is taking so long, I just want to hit refresh. Because I want to see the different colorations from what I had before. At the moment, there is no crown in my mug. It's actually from coffee from earlier, but it's from the downtown Denver Aquarium. Okay, this can't take this long. I feel like just hitting refresh. See if that breaks everything. Okay, I'm bored too. I'm fine with that, I'm just gonna hit refresh. See what happens. Okay. So, load from a template.
there's Coral Lab. Here's what I always liked. I like Radiant Color. I think I'm not going to like this one. Sub Template. SPSAB, SPS PX14, or LPS Soft? Well, <laughs> I'd say Soft since it's anemones, but I think for now I'll just stick to this. And I start my schedule around, let's say, 1. And uh, done. And then I want to run it until... 10, 30, which means I got to feed the fish soon. What intensity do I like during the daytime? Let's put this at 60% because it's a brand new light that's more powerful than the old light I had. Now, let's look at some colors. There are the spectrums. Lunar phase, that looks right. So basically I set the lights in this tank to run a total of nine and a half hours. That's long. Leave it for now. And, um, there we go. So now I can see that there's more color options than before. I didn't have as many sliders. I think I had six before and now I have eight. Cloud probability and storm probability. That's funny. Start time. And it's saying that the light right now is running at 126 watts. Okay, so the tank looks really pink right now. So we'll pull back some violet. We'll add some cool white. We'll pull back some UV. 100% UV, that's crazy. Should have given my fish some sunscreen. And all I'm changing as I mess with this is what I see with the tank and what's happening with this exact point of time. That's not the entire day. So obviously I need to work with it. I just want to kind of get a look. I cancel that. I don't want to mess it up. Live demo. I'm going to switch all this because I don't like the way it looks right now. Pull back on the red. Pull back on the UV. Less green. I'm in Chrome right now. Turn this up. Let's turn this one way down. Let's see what else. Tank looks so weird right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of kind of leave that for the time being. I got to feed these fish. So, but that was relatively simple. Obviously, I've got more to do. All right, let's go back to the tank. Follow me. So, uh, let's see. Is there a way to switch this camera? I don't even know. There should be, but I don't see it. Um, so, as you can see, it's kind of a bluish pink. It's really pink to me, to my eyes right now. Um, but that's done. I need to secure it in the back so that way it hangs straight and sits square on the tank because right now it's a little bit crooked. You know, it's hanging straight, but it's tilted. I want to be, I actually really would like to take those two screws in the ceiling, those two right there. I'd like to move it forward about four inches because when you look at the light and you look at the tank, you know, it's centered over the tank, but because of the overflow box and the Eheim auto feeder and all that, I feel like if the light was a little bit more in the front, that'd be better. You know, just a little bit, like three, four inches forward, maybe. So maybe that'll happen sometime in the near future. Maybe it'll never happen because I know the way I am. <laughs> but that's kind of where I am right now. And uh, I'm going to go melt some fish food and feed my babies. And I, I just thought it'd be fun to kind of let you tag along. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't fun at all. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.